So you just got a new SodaStream art and you may be wondering, how do I install a CO2 cylinder? How do I change the cylinder? How do I use this handle thing? How many pulls should I do? For how long? What can I carbonate? Have no fear. In this video, I'm gonna break down what's inside the box here of your new SodaStream art and how to get it all set up successfully so that you'll be drinking delicious bubbly in no time. So let's open up the box and see what is inside. Manual. <sighs> okay, so, oh, we've got a nicely packaged CO2 canister in here. Let's get the machine out to go. Okay, that's it for the box. Okay, let's take a look at this. It's like we've got our handle and our bottle already attached there. Great. Might as well fill this up now. <laughs> Okay, so the cap is in here. So we've got our CO2 cylinder packaging on it. Pink cap, that's great. Our CO2 cylinder, you know, the pink quick connect cylinder uh, versus the older blue screw in ones. Well, let's put this in the fridge and we'll get set up. Now we've got our machine, we've got our CO2 canister, we have our new dishwasher safe bottle that has our 840 meter line on it. Next step is to unwrap the top of your CO2 cylinder. It can be a little tricky. Gosh, let me just grab some scissors. I think this is the hardest part of the whole setup. <laughs> okay, get that pink part, expose the top of the head of the cylinder. Do you want to remove this pink cap? Okay, so remove the cap. Now in the back of the device, Need to remove this backing and they have a nice little actually like kind of finger hole. I don't know if that's what it's for, but it makes it easy to remove the back here. So remove the back. First, open up the lever here to lower the mechanism to put in the quick neck bottle. Place it foot in, bottom in first and lower the level. Replace the backing. We are ready to do some fizzing. So one major tip when you're carbonating water, the colder your water is, the more CO2 will dissolve into the water and the less spillage you're gonna lose to the CO2 gods. Always keep your flat water in the fridge before you begin carbonating, you'll get a much more efficient process. Let's make some fizzy water. SodaStream recommends three to five pulls, not more than seven. I would recommend trying each number, you know, one to seven pulls of about one second to see what you like. If you're making carbonated water to mix with like Pepsi syrup, for example, you're gonna want a much higher carbonation level than something like bubbly, which has a much lower amount of CO2 in it. So you can adjust the amount of CO2 by the number of pulls that you do. So unscrew the cap here, make sure it's forward like this. Place the bottle in and lock it in place. And just make sure there's a little gap at the bottom and then depress for one second. Release. That's two. If you hear that kind of poof, that's a good time to release. Let the system kind of reset. Four. And five. Okay. So looks like some good bubbles. Let's try it out. So this was five pulls. Very healthy amount of bubbles in there. Hmm. yeah. You get a really nice mouthfeel right away with five pulls on the art. Mm, delicious. Oh God, I love, I love bubbly water. So that's everything for setting up your new SodaStream art. Now, if you like this handle method of carbonation, which I do, have I got another video for you. Check out my full comprehensive review of the ARC Carbonator 3. Similar kind of handle method as the SodaStream art. A little different design, different CO2 cylinders. So check that out in the video here next.